Okay, so this is just a quick review on finding dough, um, which is the first step in writing your, in your solfege. So if you're ever writing solfege or need to find solfege in your sheet music, you first have to find or know what dough is. So to do that, you have to look at the key signature. So in step one, you go and you look at the left hand side of your music right next to the cleft side, and there should be sharps or flats. If there are, if the answer is, are there any sharps or flats? And the answer is yes, there are sharps or yes, there are flats. It will never be both sharps and flats. It'll either be sharps or flats, never both. But if the answer to that question is yes, you move on to step two. If the answer is, I don't see any sharps or flats. Well, when you see no sharps or flats, do is C. So you've already figured out do. You don't need to go to step two. However, if there are sharps, the next thing you do is you find the last sharp. So sharps always follow this order. So if I'm looking at the staff here and I see that this is my clef sign and oh, I've got sharps. I know that every single time I look at an order of sharps, there will, there will be an F or C or G or D. It will follow this same order. If there's only one sharp, it would just be F. If there are two, F and C. If there are three, F, C, G. So it always follows the same order. So you can memorize the order of sharps as F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Now, the first method is to look at the order of sharps, count how many sharps there are, and find the last sharp. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The last sharp will be D. Okay, so that's method number one. Now, method number two is if you know how to do your lines and spaces, you look at the last sharp visually. So here is my last sharp, and I just count my lines or spaces. Every good bird does, so that's a D sharp. The D line is going through the middle of the sharp, so my last sharp is D. Then, in sharp keys, the last sharp is T in any key. So if this is D sharp, okay, so... D up one alphabetical letter is E, that would be DO. So I could go in alphabet, D to E. I could also look at the next line or space visually. This is my uh, last sharp. If I go up to the next line or space, that would be this space. And if you see a space, you spell face, so F-A-C-E. So this is the key of E major. Now, if we have a flat key, it's a little bit different. You still find the last flat, but the last flat is always fa in a key. The second to last flat is always do. But don't forget, the name of do must fit the key signature. So um, all, key, all flat keys or all flat key signatures besides F major are something flat. If it's F major, there's one flat and it's just F. But everything else would be like if there are... Uh, if the second to last flat is on B flat, then you would have to say it's B flat major. So you've done this exercise, I hope, uh, but now there will be a couple of different exercises. If you're doing this video for uh, an assignment, there'll be some gim kit type exercises for you. Now, um, the other thing to know is that the, that's just the first step of figuring out your solfege. Essentially what you've just done is you found the first note, um, when we do those sight reading examples, you know, there's the note and then a whole bunch of rests and then the song starts. You've just now figured out what that first note is. And then it would be your job to count up lines or spaces to know where all of the rest of the solfege line. So the first step is to find dough and then you go and find all of the other solfege pitches based on that dough.